Hey guys, this is uh, Sir DB again. I'm giving you a continuation of our lecture in stud that will be time. So uh, last time we have created this ground floor framing geometry of your three-story building. So this time we're going to create uh, the second, third, and the roof framing level uh, using all the same commands that we've used uh, uh, when we created this uh, simple uh, ground floor framing. Okay. So starting from this framing now, we only need to uh, select this, the ground floor level so that it will be easier if we uh, view it from the uh, z-axis. Okay, so this is your front view. And select the uh, beam framing only. Uh, this, are, this is the one we are going to generate uh, in the vertical direction, the y direction, in three steps. No? So we have uh, the first step is the ground to the second floor which is 3.5, the second to the third which is 3 and the third to the roof which is also uh, 3 meters so we're going to link the steps and click OK. So basically we have to build this geometry now. No? Uh, but of course there are some unwanted elements there like these columns here which are not, which is not a part of uh, our second and third frame here. So there are no columns here, here, OK. And also there are no beams here, so we are going to edit that by simply using the delete command. And also in the roof we have no columns here, here, here. Uh, the beams is deleted here but not there. So we're going just to just, we will be using simply the, uh, the uh, add beam, the delete command to uh, make sure that our model is actually the same as this uh, framing system uh, drawn here, okay? So from the ground to the roof. So if, uh, we can now start by removing these uh, this, uh, columns, but basically it's really very difficult to, to select those columns. One way is to view it at the perspective uh, level, okay, or the perspective uh, view uh, in order to uh, Eliminate uh, a parallel, okay, viewing, okay. But uh, I, I begin, I've been showing you a different way of doing it now. So if I want to delete, say, say those columns in the isometric uh, view, uh, it will be difficult to pick each and every column. So I'll do it by using. Uh, the top view and uh, making a small window. Uh, a window. I press the control key and uh, okay. So I create a small window to pick you know, those columns. So by by picking those columns, okay. So later I will show you that uh, those columns are the ones that we don't want. So we simply. Uh, delete them so those columns are actually those which we need to delete so basically we just press the delete command and then 36 columns are now deleted okay also we need to to uh, uh, eliminate from the second and the third the beams here now so we have three one two three beams there another three beams here only at the second and the third so we simply go to your uh, front elevation view. So this is the front view. And then select uh, this uh, part of the structure and view that part only. Go to, uh, uh, go to your uh, plan view and then simply Click these beams in order to delete them. Okay, so we only need to click those and then delete them. And of course, we also need to add uh, some beams because here in the plan, uh, you will see that the second there, there are beams there, so we only need to add those beams. Uh, okay, I'm just checking my file uh, size. Okay, so. We are going to place uh, beams by using the admin command, so shift uh, K, 
So see the node there, and then simply add the beans here. Okay, so also we need to add beans here, okay? And then also here we have to add the beams here and also add the beams here. Okay, so basically uh, if we look at the top view, okay, so this is uh, the same as what we can see here, okay? okay. Of course, uh, these openings are I can be later on uh, uh, model differently. Uh, this is not part of the geometric model. Okay, so how about the roof framing? In case we go to the view whole structure again and isolate, let's isolate uh, uh, this roof frame here because we need to edit on some of the uh, details of that. Okay, so we need to remove uh, this part here, I think. In the roof frame, uh, there are no okay. There are no beams there. Okay, so we need to uh, delete. Okay. So basically, and then we need to adjust uh, this frame at the middle because this is a steel roof framing system. So it's just like an uh, an eight frame there. Okay, so we only need to to uh, model the, the main frame. So the parlance there is actually not modeled uh, here. So we only need this uh, uh, beam uh, rafters uh, to carry the parlance. Okay? So if we now go to this one, uh, this must be a little bit sloping. Okay, So we only need to, uh, maybe you can delete this uh, beam here, and then we can adjust Okay, uh, this part can actually be adjusted by simply moving it on the Y. Okay, remember we move it, uh, or rather we, we, instead of uh, moving the member, we can move the nodes. Okay, so the nodes, uh, move the nodes to join at the distance one meter okay so one meter so this you click it okay so there you are so this is now sloping okay a sloping uh, 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 rafter and if we view the whole structure now we can see that uh, okay the structure looks like this okay So um, we can also eliminate the need for these columns in the middle because uh, the third floor framing, uh, in the third floor framing, there's, there are no columns indicated there. Uh, we're sorry, the roof framing, there are no columns indicated there. So we need to remove these columns here. And again, my, the technique on doing that is to go to your elevation and then isolate your you have to isolate your uh, third framing okay so you view those selected only and then we can remove those columns by simply selecting a, a uh, okay. okay okay select this part here okay I'm going to then press delete so basically don't have any columns there okay so if I go to the view whole structure now I have now my my whole framing system from the ground floor level to the uh, roof level uh, and this uh, finalizes the geometry of the whole structure, we can view it uh, on a perspective orientation uh, so that it, it will look uh, much more uh, pleasant to view. Okay, so this is your your model. Uh, don't forget, of course, to save the model. Okay, file. Uh, 
save as so. So this is the final geometry. So L1 geometry. Of three story building. So that's it guys, so wait for the continuation of this uh, lecture on the modeling of the basic properties of your building.